And on Capitol Hill right now, we have breaking news. House Republicans have nominated Steve Scalise moments ago as their new speaker. A floor vote is still needed, of course. Joining us now, NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Ryan Nobles and former Republican National Chairman Michael Steele. Ryan, how did this work out? Well, Andrea, I think we have to be very clear uh, under these circumstances that this is no guarantee that Steve Scalise will be the next Speaker of the House. Republicans are still divided as to how to take this process to the floor of the House of Representatives because, as you know, it requires at least 217 votes given the current makeup of Congress in order for someone to be elected Speaker. And uh, so far, uh, the vote that we saw come out of this internal uh, meeting of House Republicans, which we should point out was a private ballot, was extraordinarily tight. The final tally was 113 for Steve Scalise, 99 for his challenger, Representative Jim Jordan. And already uh, there are members of the Republican conference uh, telling uh, my colleague Ali Vitale that they will not vote for Steve Scalise on the floor of the House if and when uh, this speaker nomination actually makes it to that stage. So that the math is still a problem for these Republican candidates. And as we saw play out with uh, Kevin McCarthy, both when he was elected speaker and when he was removed from the speaker's office, it it takes just a handful uh, of Republicans to say that they are not going to support the nominee for Speaker of the House to derail that process. And what was interesting is that as this vote played out this morning, uh, a, a pair of Republican congressmen put a resolution in front of the body that suggested that they wouldn't officially nominate someone unless they had those 217 votes internally in conference. Allies of Steve Scalise uh, put up a motion to table that particular rule. They were successful in tabling it, meaning that Scalise would be able to win the nomination with just a majority of the caucus, which he was able to do. But this, this now sets up another confrontation on the House floor where Scalise is going to have to convince uh, these 99 members that didn't vote for him today to cast a ballot for him on the House floor. Just another extraordinary development here in this speaker drama and something that we need to emphasize is not something that usually happens here in Congress. Andrea?